My name is Sheree Stevens. I'm with Ucrate Macon. A couple years ago, we started hosting digital arts camps, and we found that we had so many creative kids here in Macon. So this STEM Fest was just a culmination of giving kids an outlet to be creative. Well, it takes so much courage to do this, and our kids are learning public speaking. They're working on their writing. Um, some of our kids never knew about a teleprompter, green screens, anything like that. So they're understanding with the entertainment uh, industry, they have opportunities. So it was, it was actually it was very fun. I, um, it was tiring sometimes because you spend long hours and long days sometimes doing just probably a three-minute video. But it's all worth it at the end. So it really felt good because I really enjoyed myself and I learned a lot. What I learned. Um, be patient, take your time, um, make sure you get every detail, be, be precise basically. This is our first year and we had about 20 submissions which I am super excited. The kids made a two minute film and then next year we'll add to it and we may have music videos or longer films but the kids here have shown that there's a need and an opportunity so we're excited to be here at the Hargraves Theater and we're excited to have this partner. With My name is Brian Fitzgerald. I'm the head chef here at Lazy Susan's Tapas Bar here in Macon. Uh, today I'm going to be making our Pigs and Zen Tostas for you. Now, tostas are a Spanish traditional tapas. It basically means good things on bread. And uh, we named it Pigs and Zen after the James Addiction song. This is local sourdough from Bistro to Go. Here we have San Daniel prosciutto. This is prosciutto salt that's been dehydrated and made from the same prosciutto. This is local arugula that's been roughly chopped, some goat cheese, here we have danjo pears, this is a pepper jelly spread featuring pepper jelly from Jail Creek Farms here in Georgia, this is uh, marigold petals and pickled mustard seeds. So first off we're going to toast our sourdough bread so it's a nice golden brown then we're going to spread our pepper jelly uh, mix over the top of it. We're going to add the chopped arugula and the D'Angelo pears will be layered over that and we'll place the thinly sliced prosciutto over these. We're going to add the goat cheese and then drape our mustard seeds over the top of it and finish it off with marigold flowers. So what gave you the idea of uh, the axe bar? Um, I started throwing axes about four years ago. Uh, just something kind of fell in front of me. Uh, I got tired of paying $200 to go to Top Golf up in Virginia Beach. Okay. And it was just a lot of fun. I mean, um, you 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 thrown in tournaments and whatnot? Uh, not lately. I competed. I qualified for Worlds two years ago. Okay. That's, wow. Okay. So <laughs> the win to me it was a lot more challenging. Uh, but yeah, so you throw from 12 feet back, um, you get two throws per turn, depending on how good your coach is. You'll throw, uh, you'll hit the board, you go retrieve your axe, come back, throw from the line again, retrieve your axe, hang them up, and you cycle. Um, so kind of kind of like if bowling and darts had a baby. Don't see you. We want to congratulate our uh, brother Eddie James and Miss Bertha Willis Appleby on making a commitment on today, and it happens to be Valentine's Day, a day in which we express our love to one another. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Sierra Martin and I'm the Facility Administrator here at Loaves and Fishes Ministry. Uh, we are so excited because today on Valentine's Day, we got to witness the union of Eddie Appleby and Miss Bertha Appleby. Um, we've gotten incredibly close to the couple down here at Loaves and Fishes Ministry and we're so excited to see them come together, not only um, to spend their life together, but that they've chosen Loaves and Fishes uh, to do that with. Um, we uh, wish them well and we hope uh, for their uh, continued prosperity in the future. And we definitely pray that they continue uh, to grow together um, in holy matrimony. Uh, funny thing is they've actually been together for about 17 years. So I don't think this is anything new to them. I'm sure it'll be easy. Uh, but we definitely wish them well and congratulations on your big day. To the bride and groom, I wish all a happy marriage and more and more happy wishes to y'all. Um, y'all two of the sweetest people I ever met. Just more wishes of love. Happy marriage and good luck. And may God bless you. Him and his wife, they've been coming, they were home. I told them they need to get up the street and get a place to live. And they did it. He my brother. I seen him and my brother and she my sister. Um, Mr. Appleby and Miss Bertha, I'm so happy that I got to volunteer at Loaves and Fishes where I could meet the both of you. I, you are two of the sweetest people I have ever met. I hope that your love will continue like it has for 17 years, for many, many more, and that you will always be kind and take care of each other and be happy. If you